Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> In this video, I will be animating for 24 hours. Just kidding. So I'll be teaching you how I animate my, my stuff, how I animate my character. If you've been tuning on for a while or if you haven't, you might have realized I have a new editing style where I, I decided to talk to you guys through this animation of my Roblox character, which is pretty cool and is a lot better than compared to if I didn't, okay? So I'm going to be teaching you how I do it. And if you don't care about that, then I'll be showing you how to make animations for like a movie if you're making one or maybe just playing any animations for your Roblox game. I'll be telling you how to do all those three things all in this video. And I'll be showing you every little thing that I learned from other people, from learning from myself, from learning from YouTube, all the stuff that I picked up on after animating for so long. I'll be showing it all here. And you can use it in several different ways. Okay, I'll be showing you. It'll be fun. It's fun. Animating is fun and you will like it. If not, just watch this video and maybe you'll feel like, oh, I want to do that too now. I'm going to do that too. This video looks cool. I like how he's doing these animations. I'm going to copy him. That's how you're going to feel like at the end of this video. Meesh, meesh, I'm certain. And then you're going to end up actually following this tutorial if you don't follow these tutorials. Maybe you will. I don't care. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so let me just start with the tutorial. So you want to know how I make these kinds of animations. Well, you know what? Let me just show you the behind the scenes. Let me just get the camera here. And oh, I just got a table here. Pretty nice. I also got the sick backdrop. It's pretty good as well. You check this out. <laughs> okay, well, this was just a fun animation I made. So let me show you how I made this animation in Roblox Studio and actually get to the tutorial. So that's basically what the tutorial is going to be about, how I made that animation. And within it, you're going to learn doing blockouts of poses, in-betweens, camera animations, and even sound design. I'll be showing you how I made all of that. It's actually really, really fun to do. I'm starting the tutorial now. Don't click off. Let's first get our character. I'm going to be using the plugin Moon Animator. If you go to the toolbox, go to plugins. You can see Moon Animator is free. Since when? I thought it was for money. This might be the real version and it costs $30. Dollars, not Robux, actual real life money, which is crazy. I mean, I, I, I guess it's fair. These people need money, but you think I'm made out of gold and I'll have money? Just kidding. I know there's like a free bootleg version out there, so I'll leave in the description both the real Moon Animator plugin and the fake bootleg one that's for free. But I don't support bootlegs and theft and whatever. Uh. So let's click character inserter and upload and insert our own character. I'm gonna upload myself in R6. You can also do R15. Those who use R15 to animate are freaks and weirdos. Okay, no, actually, it's just a lot more complex and R6 is easier and honestly, I like it more. So we're gonna use that. Okay, Moon Animator select your guy new rig animation boom now we can get started i'm gonna x out of everything okay there i changed my avatar so i can see a face i'll show you how to rig faces as well to make them like animate okay first i gotta figure out what my animation is gonna be i don't even know i didn't plan anything we'll figure it out together what i'm gonna do let me get a table here i also like to change the camera fov to like maybe 35 and now let's just start animating let's get to the first frame which is gonna be the first pose that my character is gonna be <laughs> Okay, there you go. Look at me. I'm just sitting back and relaxing. Now, I'm going to zoom in and just go to like 20 over here and then do the second pose. First, we're just picking out the poses that we want to do, which I call is the block out animation or the pose to pose. So there you go. Pose one, pose two. Now let's do a, a third pose. All right, these are my poses. So me chilling, me going back to a normal position. And then me, honestly, I'm going to slam the table because I don't know why. I just, I just, that just happened while animating. And then I go back to chilling. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be my animation. Now, if I just play it, it doesn't look smooth enough. It looks so robotic and linear, actually moving like a robot, like a FNAF Freddy Fazbear. But that was just step one, doing the pose to pose or the block out. I got to look, I got to make it look even better and get it looking smoother. So I'll show you how to do that. Now we do the in-betweens. So again, I'm here, pose one, pose two. Now let's see if I want to change anything in between it. Maybe instead of my arms going down like this, maybe in between it goes out for a second. It goes out and then goes back to the table. And we do that for the rest. I look in between the two poses I did and see what would I want to change. There you go. Now look at it so far. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Now there's a few more steps to make this look even smoother and less robotic looking. And there's actually a secret in making your animation look really smooth by one simple button, which I don't know how everyone doesn't know this, but I'm going to tell you it now. So what you do is select all the frames and then press M. This smooths it out a bit. Also, I'm going to just select everything and move it to the left because it just got rid of the first frame. There you go. After you do that, it should smooth it a bit look at that that's so much better 
Now, another thing that you can do to smoothen everything is just select everything, keyframe, edit selection, change linear to quad, and then change direction to in and out. And then you can try that out. Sometimes that makes it look better. Sometimes it makes it look clunky. The areas that do look clunky, just remove it. So like, I don't really like how it did it to this area. It looks it look really, really weird. So I'm just gonna select that area that I don't like, go back to keyframe, edit selection, and then just make it back to a linear. And that's step three, making it even smoother. Now, do you wanna know how people animate the faces and make it look different and cool? Well, I'll show you that next. What we do is first open up Explorer and then just select your character, then go to its head and select its face decal. Then click this plus icon, okay, then click the face decal, and then select texture. I'm gonna uncheck transparency because we don't need it. But we're gonna animate its texture. Yes, and there you go. Now we just need a different face, so let me get one. In order to get different faces, just look up face pack in the toolbox. You can get something like this where it's more expressive and animated, or you can find the more Roblox looking faces that are less animated looking and less expressive, but still good. I like using these ones more because I think they're just more interesting to look at, but some people prefer the other. I don't know. So honestly, all you're doing is animating the texture within the face from Move Animator. So we'll just go to a frame where I want to change the facial, the face. So here, I want to keep the same. I'm here, right where, right where I'm about to charge, I'm going to change my face. Let's do a face where I'm like charging up, about to slam a table. Uh, probably this one. This is the most angry looking face. Select it and within Explorer, go to properties and just copy its texture. And then right where I want to change it, I press equal, it generates a keyframe, then double click that keyframe and then paste it right here, what we just copied. And there you go, now the face changes. And there you go, there's the animation. Now let me show you how to use the camera and how to animate objects. So here's this part, I'm gonna put it within the animation plugin. So what I'm gonna do is click plus right here, select the part, and then we're gonna do C frame. C frame means just any movements that will be animated, that can be animated that will be used to animate. So now to animate this, just press equal to add a keyframe, move this right here, and then actually move your object and then press equal again to create the keyframe. And boom, it animates it. Perfect, that's how you animate objects. It's simple as that, so easy. Now let me show you something super cool. I'm gonna show you how to make the camera like the actual object and then you can animate the object right here as if it's the camera. And then you'll get cool animation of the camera. You'll get what I mean, it's fun, it's cool, watch this. So we're gonna first add the camera. So click camera here, add, select these three dots here. And then I'm going to uncheck these and then click attach to part. Press OK. And then just select attach to part here and then press equal. That creates a keyframe. Double click the keyframe, select the part and then click set there. Now the camera is always attached to the part. With this, that means we can animate this part and move it around and that will be our camera. So I'm going to click on this right here to uncheck it. What was turned off is the camera locking to the part. Now animate this part as if it's the camera. So there you go. I move the part so it's like this. Now, if I enable the attached part and then play the animation, you can see where the part was is where my camera is now. That's pretty cool. I like that. There you go. Look at that. That's the animation because I don't know what to do. Also, I just realized I just remember that you can rotate the part to like rotate the camera. That's actually the main reason why you use a part as your camera. So just add some rotations like this, like this. OK, and there's the animation. Bang. I have no idea what this is supposed to be, what this animation is. I just literally did whatever came to mind because it's just a tutorial. Now that you have your animation, you can either like record it, have it be in your YouTube video, which is what I do, or maybe you can put it in your game. And this tutorial, I'll be showing you both of those ways. So let me first tell you the way how I use it, which is using it for YouTube. So let's first record this animation. Also note, if you're gonna be recording it, press Control H on your keyboard to hide the plugin. So you can just press Control H right now and then press space to play it and then start recording. That's how I do it. And then all you do is just put in sounds. You can get sounds from YouTube or from the website freesound.org man and then that is it hello yeah <laughs> Gulp. <laughs> yeah, please subscribe. That was amazing. 10 out of 10. Okay, you guys can do something even better than that. That was just something really quickly that I did. Because again, it's just a tutorial. But you guys see that I got every single thing that you need to know. How to animate a character. How to animate the face. How to animate a camera. How to add in sounds. How to record. You did it all. You got it all. There you go. So you maybe, maybe, please, maybe do subscribe. Because I just gave all of the information on how to do that. Now, let me cover how to have your animations in your Roblox games for those that want to know. And then I can end this video. There's a reason why there's only a couple minutes left in this video because it's actually really simple to do look just watch putting your animation in the actual roblox game is actually pretty easy first let's just save the actual animation 
So click file, save as, and then let's just name it whatever. I'm gonna do a tutorial. Okay, now that it's saved, we click file, export rigs, and boom, you can see it saves. So what do you have to do is just upload this to Roblox. But before we do, click on it and then go to properties, and then you can check or uncheck loop, depending if you want the animation to loop. I'm gonna turn it on. So then, yeah, now, now we can upload it. So right click this, save as export, save for Roblox, then click save. And then boom, now it's uploaded. Click this icon right here to copy the ID. We're gonna need that. Now close. Now with this ID, you can put it to whatever script to play your animation. I'm just gonna get a script from the toolbox. I'm just gonna look up play animation to NPC in toolbox. Let's select the first one. Now you want something like this where it's like a script and then inside the script is this little thing. So let's, let's select this, go to properties and just paste control V to the animation ID. Because we clicked the icon earlier, it copied our ID. Now all you do is just put the script within your player and that should be it. I should play test the game and it should be playing my animation. There we go. There's my animation playing in Roblox Studio. <laughs> playing in my game that's so easy simple as that that's how you use your animation in your roblox game and that's it now i really hope you know how to use moon animator to animate in roblox studio if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing or leaving a like leave a comment below and maybe i'll reply if you have any questions and that's it bye ah!